Hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel. I am your host, Jay Slays. And today we are going to be doing a general reading for the Virgo Nation. So if you are a Virgo or you have Virgo in your birth chart, this is the reading for you. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, I did post the link to do that down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for your likes. Most of all, thank you guys so much for subscribing and thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, we're going to go ahead and just jump right into the reading. So let's go ahead and get started. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Virgo today? Show me clearly, please. Thank you, Spirit. So we have feeling safe. So some a lot. So some of you guys are feeling safe right now. That's good. It's always good to feel safe. And let's see what else is going on. I'm also getting that a lot of you guys were have been feeling safe financially wise is what I'm getting as well. So somebody doesn't feel financially secure, like you don't feel safe as far as with money. What else, spirit? What is the energy surrounding Virgo today? Show me clearly, please. Energy surrounding Virgo spirit. Thank you. Complacency. I also have insecurity at the bottom of the deck. So a lot of you guys have been feeling very, very insecure about something. It's probably this um, financial insecurity that I feel. I mean, this financial, um, this lack of financial stability that I keep sensing from you guys. So that's probably is what got a lot of you guys feeling insecure right now and feeling, um, you know, just like it, it's not going to be okay. So give me one minute. I'm going to... Um, Take a look for us and see what the car complacency uh, is all about. Yeah, this is about reclamation. This is about finding self-nourishment. Some of you guys are leaving your dreams in real life. A lot of us, us, I say us because I'm a Virgo too, so I know how you guys feel. Somebody's feeling very depleted right now. Some of you guys are having a lack of motivation right now. And the reason why, like I was saying, I was sensing that it was somebody that wasn't feeling safe financially. So, um, you know, it's going to be okay, Virgo. It's going to be okay. Because I know how we can get. We worry a lot when, it's, when we don't feel financially stable. When things are, you know, Virgos, we like to have things in order. We like to know what's going on. You know, we, we like the shit to be in order. We like to be on top of shit. So, I get it. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Virgo today? Please show me clearly. The energy surrounding Virgo, Spirit. Thank you. We have bad health. So, somebody's stressing. Somebody stressing way too much. You stressing yourself out to the point you're worrying yourself sick, Virgo. Okay? You need to cut that out. What else, Spirit? Show me clearly what is the energy surrounding Virgo. Thank you, Spirit. Yes, I'm telling you. You guys is worrying too much. We have gifts here. What else, Spirit? Show me clearly the energy surrounding Virgo, please. Thank you, Spirit. Does somebody false around you, Virgo? It's somebody around you that's fake as fuck and you need to watch them. I have coughing at the bottom of the deck as well. This is something, this is this is goodbye to someone or a situation. And from the looks of things, it looks like you're going to be gifted with something, Virgo. So if the gift is going to be, you're going to get a blessing. You're going to get a blessing. You're about to be gifted with um, the answers to your prayers. You know, that's why coughing is here at the bottom of the deck. You're going to say goodbye to something. You're going to be saying goodbye to these hard times really soon. Because in the recent past, I'm getting that a lot of you guys have been very, very worried. You have literally been worrying yourself sick about finances. You do not feel safe financially. You feel financially insecure. You feel insecure just as a person because your money been funny right now. Some of y'all been looking for jobs. You haven't heard back anything yet from anybody. So you're starting to get antsy because you feel like you're running out of time or something like that. But Virgo, I'm here to tell you it's going to be okay. 
Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Virgo? Show me clearly, please. Clarify bad health, Spirit. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. Like I said, a lot of you guys are sitting up reminiscing, um, thinking about happy memories and, and, and a time when you had, when you know, when it was a joyous time for you. You're suffering from nostalgia right now. You're sitting up worrying yourself, thinking about how things was before things got bad. Virgo, get it together. Okay? You go through storms. In life, you're either going through a storm, you're coming out of a storm, or you're getting ready to go in a storm. It's going to always be that repetitive cycle in life, Virgo. You will get through this. You need to keep your faith in the most high strong. That's what you need to do. Somebody's feeling very disappointed right now. You had to walk away from somebody, Virgo. It was somebody in your recent past that you had to leave behind. And I'm also getting that this person that you left behind had something to do with this bad health as well. This person was very greedy and possessive. This person was very selfish and um, very narcissistic that you had to leave behind, all right? You had, you withdrew from this person. This person has a, a, a real big old ego, you know what I'm saying? You had to abandon this person for some reason. I'm also getting that this person that you walked away from could possibly be a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. This person is also suffering from nostalgia and happy memories of you guys. For some of you guys, this person that you walked away from was somebody that you've been around for your entire childhood. And it's the reason why you, you had to walk away from this person. Spirit, clarify the Six of Cups, please. What is the energy surrounding Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. A lot of you guys have been um, self-limiting. You know, y'all been self-limiting. You know, you, you, you've been beating yourself up, Virgo. I got the Eight of Swords in reverse here. You know, this is about your ego as well. Spirit says you need to release those negative thoughts. And open yourself up to new perspectives, okay? You're going to have freedom from your financial hardship, all right? That's what I see. There, you're going to have freedom from that. You guys are going through a personal transition right now. Some of you guys are resistant to this change. You're too busy worrying about shit to even realize the change. You're going to cause yourself, you're going to self-destruct, Virgo, if you don't get it together and get yourself, get your mind right, Virgo. This is, this is a mind thing. You know what I'm saying? Don't let the devil use your circumstances to fuck with your mind. You know what I'm saying? You got to be strong. You got to be head strong and you got to have your faith strong. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Virgo? Clarify this Eight of Swords in reverse, please. Thank you, Spirit. We have judgment. So this person that you walked away from wants your mercy. They want your forgiveness about something. I have the judgment card here. So um, I'm also getting that a lot of you guys are getting ready to, like I said, go through a new phase. Go through. This is a personal transformation that you're getting ready to go through virgo okay so it seemed like it's stagnant right now you've been having some delays you haven't been hearing back from jobs you probably can't stand the job that you're currently at right now you're ready to get away from this job you haven't been you know hearing anything back from any of the people that you've been applying to any of the interviews that you've been going on and stuff like that but this is a rebirth virgo okay this is a rebirth and then your recent past is when this rebirth begins. You know what I'm saying? Um, some of you guys became awakened to something that this person around you had going on. This person could possibly be a Libra um, that wants your forgiveness for whatever it is that they had going on. Yeah, you guys are feeling like that you're having some bad luck right now. You feel like that you don't have no control over your circumstances and stuff like that. You're going through a real negative phase in your life right now, Virgo. And like I said, you guys really need to keep y'all faith strong right now. It just seems like that you don't have no control over things, but you really do have control over everything because you have control over how you're going to be dealing with all of this stuff, okay? You know what I'm saying? Uh, keep your faith strong. You have to do that. Your faith will be tested in these times with these difficult circumstances that you was in right now, Virgo. But what I'm trying to say is this. Um, until the most high bless you, praise them in the highway. Until the most high open up another door for you, praise them in the highway. 
Count your blessings, Virgo. Stop sitting up worrying about stuff. You do have control. Because, see, you have a choice. You can, you're going to control the way you handle this situation. That's what you have control over, Virgo. So are you going to try to remain positive and think positive and be positive and keep your mind and yourself busy being focused on getting to where you're trying to go? Or are you going to sit here and stress yourself out and worry yourself sick and make yourself sick and depressed mentally? Like, you know what I'm saying? That's why bad health is here. Bad health don't have to literally mean your body. It could be your mind as well, Virgo. Okay, you know what I'm saying? Y'all need to get it together. It's it's hard, it's stagnant, it's slow, but you're still making progress. You're getting up every day, you're looking for jobs, you're doing what you're supposed to be doing to, to, to make your financial situation better, and your financial situation will get better. Spirit, clarify judgment, please. Thank you. We have the King of Cups. You guys are really disappointed right now. You guys are, in your recent past, like, you guys have been feeling very, very insecure. You guys have been very disorganized. Spirit says that y'all need to reprioritize. Y'all got a lack of balance, Virgo. We got the two of pinnacles in reverse at the bottom of the deck. You guys are feeling very, very overwhelmed right now with this situation. You need to have courage and you need to have faith that the Most High finna bless you and bring you through this storm because he will. Spirit, tell me more. Clarify gifts. Thank you, Spirit. So we have the High Priestess here. So the High Priestess is you in this case. You are gifted. I Like I just told you, I can't make this shit up, Virgo. We are very, very intuitive people. We have a deep, deep power of manifestation. You are gifted. You can manifest the things that you want. You're lowering your vibrations by sitting up here worrying yourself sick about finances and what are you going to do about this and what are you going to do about that when you can be sitting over here manifesting the things that you want praying for the things that you want writing down the things that you want writing this shit down making this shit plain manifest this shit think about this shit get up every single day instead of stressing yourself out and worrying yourself sick and focus and live your life as if these things is on the way tomorrow manifest your shit you got the gift to do that your intuition been trying to tell you something as well you know what i'm saying you need to trust yourself and you need to trust the most high. All right? Y'all feeling, you know, a lot of y'all got a lack of self-worth right now. You know what I'm saying? Y'all hustling. You know what I'm saying? Trying to survive. Y'all got a deep, deep obsession with work and money and finding a job. And you really need to just woo Virgo. You need to go somewhere and sit down and meditate. Go sit next to the water. You know what I'm saying? The water is very calming to your spirit. Take your shoes off. You know what I'm saying? If it's not too cold, wherever you at, go outside. Get in the grass. Take your shoes off. Put your feet in the grass. You are earth sign. Ground yourself and connect yourself to Mother Earth. You are the earth angel. You can manifest the things you want, Virgo. You got this, okay? Spirit, clarify the high priestess. Thank you. Yes, you guys are going to become subtly aware and you're going to choose happiness. Well, this is what some of you guys have done right now, okay? Some of you guys, like I said, y'all is, you know, in your recent past, you was feeling down and out about stuff, you know. But some of you guys now, you guys have, um, you know, decided to choose happiness and you have accepted the fact that things is a little slow right now and stuff. And you've accepted that and you understand that things are going to be okay. But like I said, you guys withdrew from somebody. You guys have to retreat from somebody. And I'm also getting that for some of you guys that's over here still stressing yourself out and worrying yourself sick, you need to retreat. You need to withdraw from doing that to yourself. You need to get somewhere and sit down, meditate, relax yourself, relax your mind, relax your mental state. Everybody has something that they do that keeps them calm mentally and calms their spirit, Virgo. And whatever that is for you, that's what you need to get up and start doing. You need to keep your mind busy and focus on something other than your, your um, negative circumstances because your negative circumstances are about to change. They're about to change. Spirit, clarify these four of cups in reverse, please. Thank you, Spirit. Yeah, you guys are suffering emotionally. You know, you're feeling empty right now. Y'all letting y'all y'all really letting this stuff get y'all down. Don't do this. And some of y'all is keeping this stuff to y'all self. You know what I'm saying? Y'all not really telling nobody about it. Y'all trying to keep it to y'all self. Y'all got that one person that y'all might talk to, but y'all really holding a lot of this stuff in. Spirit, clarify this ace of cups, please. 
Thank you, Spirit. All righty. So, yeah, you guys, your confidence is bad. You feeling sorry for yourself. Virgo, I'm telling you, man, it's going to be all right. Y'all need to get it together. I promise it's going to be okay. Spirit, clarify this uh, six of wands in reverse. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. We have the Knight of Pentacles here. I can't make this shit up, y'all. Y'all hard work and productivity is about to pay off, okay? Y'all hard work and y'all productivity is about to pay off. Y'all been working real hard, being real productive. Y'all been getting up every single day looking for a job. Every single day, like a routine. You get up, you fill out applications, you look for a job. You calling people back. You going on interviews. You're doing everything that you can possibly do to get a job. But you accept being patient and waiting on somebody to call you back, Virgo. That's what you're not doing. You're doing everything but that. But I'm telling you, Spirit says it's going to be okay. It's going to be all good. You should you, you should feel safe. Trust trust the most high, man. Somebody around you, I have the five of, the five of swords here. There's somebody around you that you got into some type of conflict with. Um, there's also somebody around you that's secretly in competition with you, Virgo. This is somebody around you that's very sneaky. Um, yeah. This is somebody, there's somebody around you that's very, very sneaky. There's somebody around you that has a, some type of secret strife with you or something like that. It's probably whoever this false person is right here. So there's somebody around you that's, that's very fake. Spirit clarify. Five of Swords. Knight of Swords. So this person could possibly be an air sign. Aquarius, Libra, Gemini. Spirit, why is this Knight of Swords here? What is this conflict? Who is this sneaky person and what are they doing? We have the devil here. This person is very toxic. Could possibly be a uh, Capricorn as well. Yeah, there's somebody around you that is not who you think they are, Virgo. This is somebody around you that um, they have very destructive behavior. This person is very codependent on you or something like that. This person is very, very toxic. And got uh, suffering from some type of addiction. Alcoholism, drink, do a lot of drinking, do a lot of drugging or something like that. There was a sudden change with you and this person. There was some type of upheaval with you guys. A very chaotic moment between the two of y'all or something like that. Um, but on the flip side, we have the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck, which is all about endings. Um, so what I'm getting is that you ended things with whoever this person is. Now, I don't know if this was somebody that you were in a romantic relationship with. This could have possibly been a friend or a family member, a boyfriend, girlfriend, wife, husband, ex-wife, baby mama, something. There was somebody in your life that you had to end some shit with because um, they were very toxic. Or there's somebody that you need to end something with. could possibly be a Gemini because this person is very, very toxic. This person is very secretive and this person got something going on behind your back that you don't know about. But on the flip side, things can't get no worse for you, Virgo. It's only upwards from here. You're going to recover from this financial situation. I told y'all that shit. You got the Ten of Swords at the bottom of the deck in reverse. This is about a recovery. This is about an ending. This is about um, things going up from here. So, you guys feel like that you don't have no control over the, excuse me, over the situation, but you have all the control over the situation because things are, you're about to recover from this situation, all right? So, you're going to be okay, Spirit, clarify this false person. Who is this? And what's going on with them? Show me clearly, Spirit. What is the energy surrounding Virgo? Thank you, Spirit. Yeah. This person right here, like I said, possibly could be a Gemini around you. This person is definitely hiding a secret from you, okay? this We have the Nine of Swords in reverse here, okay? Somebody is holding some type of secret from you. And this, this is this fake-ass person. They hiding something from you, um, Virgo. And you 
probably kind of felt like that they was hiding something from you and your intuition was telling you that this person was hiding something from you which is also the reason why we have the high priestess here as well because that's the very that's about your intuition telling you something and you becoming awakened to something so whatever this person did or um i think you guys may have found out whatever this was that and this whatever this person was doing it caused you to walk away from this person but this person is going to reach out to you um in the near future so be prepared for that this person is going to reach out to you about something this person is in a, this person is in competition with you i got the seven of wands at the bottom of the deck could possibly be a leo this person has a deep this person is hiding something from you this person okay thank you spirit this person is in competition with you about something this is somebody around you that you think is your friend or you thought was your friend. And this person is very jealous. And um, they, all of this, they hide this from you. You don't know that this person is jealous of you, Virgo. You don't know that this person is in competition with you. You too busy worrying about your bag right now. Meanwhile, you got a whole op over here that's in competition with you and jealous of you, but masquerading around you in your face, smiling and skinning and grinning. And also what I'm getting, Virgo, is that you need to be mindful of what you say to people because this false person that's around you is telling your business so keep your business to yourself keep your financial problems and stuff like that to yourself virgo don't be out here venting to everybody okay don't do that spirit what else clarify this nine of swords in reverse who is this false person thank you spirit king of swords this person is definitely an air sign this person is definitely an earth sign. This person is somebody that pretends to be honest and truthful and um, with a good heart and stuff like that. But this person really fake as fuck and this person really hiding a secret from you. And then we got the King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And we also have the Page of Pentacles right behind it. This is more clarification of the wealth and the um, abundance and the prosperity that's coming towards you, Virgo. I told you that you were going to have recovery from your financial situation. The King of Pentacles up under the bottom of the deck lets me know that. You know what I'm saying? And also this Page of Pentacles lets me know that you guys have been manifesting this. You guys have been doing the things that you need to do and working diligently to get what you want. You guys have a financial opportunity coming towards you right now. And, and, and it's going to come to you soon. You got lots of wealth coming towards you. The King of Pentacles is all about wealth and business leadership. So somebody on here is a business owner as well. Your business is about to pick up. You're going to have financial security again. You're going to be able to feel safe and, and uh, you're going to be able to feel safe financially. You're going to be getting the financial security that you've been seeking, that you've been manifesting. You're going to have prosperity, okay? Spirit, clarify this King of Swords. Thank you, Spirit. More secrets. This fake-ass person around you. Spirit, what is this false person hiding from Virgo? What is the secret, Spirit? Show me clearly. What are they hiding from Virgo besides their jealousy? Thank you, Spirit. Mm. Thank you, Spirit. You got the Nine of Cups here, Virgo. All your wishes is about to come true. Everything that you've been wanting and praying for and waiting for and manifesting, you're about to get it. It's, it's a done deal. You got the Ten of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You had the Page of Pentacles right behind it. And now the Nine of Cups is here. This is all about your wishes coming true and stuff like that. However, this person is very jealous of you. This person is very jealous of... Um, you make the struggle look good. This person is just simply jealous of you being who the fuck you are. This person has set up and told your business to people, though. I'm, I, I heard that in my, I heard that. This person has been telling your business to people. While you've been sitting over here stressing and worrying and venting to this person or uh, whoever this person is, they've been telling your business. Thank you, Spirit. And I'm also getting that this person is secretly glad that you're going through what you're going through, Virgo. This person been praying for your downfall, Virgo. This person have been, like, this person feels giddy inside to know that you're struggling financially and you're stressed out and worried about this shit. That's what's going on right now. Spirit. Clarify this nine of cups. 
Yeah, this person been talking negative about you. You really need to cut this person off. This person is definitely an air sign. Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. One of those. Libra, Gemini, or an Aquarius. Could possibly be a, be a water sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Or one of those. Take it as it resonates, Virgo. But you definitely need to cut this person off. Or you at least need to watch what you say around this person. Because this person fake as fuck. This person is secretly jealous of you. And this person is also secretly in competition with you. And that's the reason why this person feels so good inside. To see you doing bad. Or hear about you doing bad. And having problems and stressing and stuff like that. Because now they on some shit like. Uh -huh, I'm finally doing better than Virgo. Yeah. I'm finally doing better than Virgo. She over there stressing and, 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 and depressing. And he over there stressing and depressing. And whoop de whoop de whoop. They're glad that you're going through this financial disaster right now. But little do they know, he or she that lasts, lasts, lasts the longest. Because guess what? You got abundance coming towards you, Virgo. You have wealth coming towards you. You have prosperity coming towards you. You have luxury coming towards you. Your wishes are all about to come true. Everything that you've been praying for and manifesting is about to come true, Virgo. So this person gonna be even more motherfucking mad. So don't even worry about them. Let's see what else is going on. Fuck them. A hater gonna hate. And if they mad at you now, they finna be real mad at you in just a motherfucking minute because your blessings is about to start falling out the sky. Spirit, what else can you tell me uh, about Virgo? Thank you. Dragon, beware of self-delusion. You know what I'm saying? This is what I was talking about, you guys. You're deluding yourself. You're, 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 you're making yourself delusional. You're, you're making yourself believe that your circumstances and your situation is worse than what it really is. That's the devil fucking with your mind, using your circumstances to make you feel like that you ain't doing enough or something, you know, making you think negative and be negative. I told y'all I can't make this shit up. What else, spirit? Tell me more about the energy. I'm going to throw this one back because we didn't get the question out of the way, y'all. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding Virgo? Show me clearly, please. What does Virgo need to know, spirit? Thank you. Spirit says gravel, involvement with the law. Involvement with the law. Thank you, Spirit. All right, this not going to be for everybody right here, but this is for somebody. I don't know who this is for, but you need to be aware of your self-delusion because it's going to cause you to have some type of involvement with the law. Somebody on here, I don't know who this is for, but you need to be patient with the most high. Don't go out here in these motherfucking streets trying to... Fix this motherfucking financial bond that you think that you is in by yourself. Sit back and wait for your blessings to come. I just told you that your blessings was on the way and they is coming and they coming sooner than you think. Don't go out there in them streets, Virgo, and try to fix this shit yourself or it's going to cause you to have some type of involvement with the law. Don't let the devil fuck with your mind and make you think that your circumstances are worse than what they are and that you need to go out here in these streets and do something about it to make it go away. No, you need to stay here and you need to wait on the most high. You need to wait on the most high because he getting ready to bless you. You know he getting ready to bless you because you had the ten of pentacles. You had the page of pentacles. You got the nine of cups. You get your, your, your wishes are about to come true. You about to get what you need. Spirit say, hold what you got. Because if you go out there and you let your impatience get the best of you and you let your mind play tricks on you and you let the devil fuck with your mind, you're going to end up catching a case and going to jail. And then you're going to miss out on all these blessings and abundance that's coming towards you, okay? What else, Spirit? Please show me clearly. What else does Virgo need to know? Thank you. Club, you see that? Someone will try to make you do something against your will. You see what I'm saying? Somebody going to try to make you do something against your will. 
You know who that somebody is? That's the devil. The devil gonna fuck with your mind and make you do something that you know is that you ain't supposed to be doing. That's against your will. The devil gonna force you to go out here in these streets and get yourself in trouble. I can't make this shit up. Listen to your cards, man. Hold what you got. Hold what you got. Don't let that someone, which is the devil, make you do something against your will. You know you don't want to go out there in them streets, but you feel like them streets is calling you because of that self-delusion. You letting the devil fuck with your mind, so now you feel like them streets is calling you even though you know you don't want to go. Deep in your spirit, you know you don't want to go out there in them streets. You know you don't want to, but your mind is playing tricks on you. The devil fucking with your mind, making you think that you got to go out there because the streets is calling you, but they really not. That's just the devil using your circumstances to make you feel like you need to be out there in them streets. What else, spirit? What is the energy surrounding Virgo? Thank you. Dog barking. Advice from a friend. Take this advice from me. I'm your Virgo friend because I'm a Virgo too. And I know exactly how you feel. We're very impatient people. We can be stubborn sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But, but what I'm telling you is you need to be patient. And don't let your impatience get the best of you or that shit going to land you in, in, um, in some type of involvement with the law. Don't do it. Let's pull some money messages. You got abundance and stuff like that coming towards you, Virgo. Your blessings is on the way, man. You need to hold what you got, Virgo. It's on the way. Don't go out there in them streets and fuck it up before it get here. Spirit, what is the energy surrounding this abundance and prosperity that's coming towards Virgo? Show me clearly, please. Thank you, Spirit. Look at this shit. You got two cards. Wish come true. Double clarification of that nine of swords. I just told you that your wishes was about to come true, man. And then you got taking steps. I'm going to read this to you. Your wish is being granted, but it may not come in the way you expected. No worries. It's just what you need. It's just what you need, man. You need to be patient. Don't let this fake-ass motherfucker encourage you either to go out here and do some shit that you know you ain't supposed to be doing. Spirit says taking steps. Action is key to getting where you need to go. You can't wait around. Take a step in any directions to get unstuck and find opportunities. And that is what you have been doing, Virgo. You have been doing that. That's exactly what you've been doing, which is why what? Your wishes is about to come true. Don't let the devil fuck with your mind and use your circumstances to make you feel like that you need to go out there in them streets and make some shape so that you can make ends meet because the most hot and already made ends meet for you. The, the, the most hot and already did that for you. It's a done deal. His timing is perfect timing. Your time is going to have your ass locked up in that motherfucking jail and having an involvement with the law if you take your ass out there in them streets. Okay? Be patient. Until the Most High open up a door for you, Virgo, you need to be praising him and thanking him in the hallway. Instead of sitting up here complaining about what you don't have and worrying about what you don't have, stop for just one damn minute and think about what you do have. Be grateful for what you already have. You woke up this morning. You woke up under your own roof this morning. You didn't wake up outside on the ground. You, you ate today. You woke up with an able mind and an able body. You got yourself out of bed this morning. You was able to wash your own ass this morning. Somebody else somewhere woke up this morning paralyzed from the neck down and somebody else had to wipe their ass and wash them up today. But you didn't have to worry about that. You woke up with the gift to see this beautiful day that the Most High created uh, uh, and gave you another day to fight and keep faith and wait on him to come through here and make all your wishes come true. Count your motherfucking blessings, Virgo. Okay? I know how it is. I'm a Virgo too. I know how hard it is to sit back and wait when it seems like everything around you is just, you know, going to shit. Bills pounding up. You know, but so what? Hold what you got. Keep your faith strong. Be thankful for the blessings that you already have and never mind what you don't have because what you don't have is on the way and you finna get it. I hope you enjoyed my message today, Virgo.
Like I said, if anybody would like to book a personal reading, I did leave the link down in the description box below. Thank you guys so much for watching my channel. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that subscribe button for me. And don't worry, Virgo. I promise you it's going to be okay. Just listen to me. If you don't listen to nothing else that J. Slade say today, listen to this and listen to your cards. Go back and rewatch this reading. You can replay this reading again. When you start feeling like, you know, you down and now, you start feeling depressed and worried, come back and look at this reading. Listen to your cards, Virgo. I love y'all. Peace. Y'all have a good day.